What's up, YouTube? This is Ice Dot Images back with another product review. <clears throat> Slash Wake and Bake is 8:23 in the morning here at uh, in Michigan. Um, my son and everyone is starting to wake up. So today I'm doing I'm doing a strain that somebody asked me to do. Riverside 313. But unfortunately it is not in the Platinum Vapes. I can't get my hands on that at the moment. I've looked, I've asked. I'm going to continue to look and ask. Um, but this one is Super Lemon Haze, but it's just through the MKX versus the Platinums. This is from um, the facilitator. It's Great Lakes Natural Remedies. From Saginaw, Michigan. I don't, the facilitator, I, I don't know if that means that this is from somewhere else and they just package it here or or what. I'm gonna go in. It says made in Michigan, so right on the box. So we're gonna we're gonna go with that. Produced by MKX Oil Company on 6-11-19. Tested by PSI Labs on 71319. Has a THC content of 81.1% with a 0.5 CBD. It's got a National Poison Control Center number on it, batch number. Uh, yeah. So I would read this right off the box, but they blocked it. So I have the, uh, the Leafly hooked up. So let's uh, let's read about this. So unlike the forbidden fruit, the forbidden fruit when I had of these, it said it was a uh, sativa, but then I looked it up on Leafly and it said it was an indica. That's the only one that I've had a discrepancy between the box and what the web says. So both say sativa. This is a, okay, well, apparently it's a hybrid. I don't know why it doesn't put hybrid on the box or it says sativa there. It's a sativa dominant hybrid of lemon skunk and super silver haze. A two-time cannabis cup winner from the greenhouse seeds. Super lemon haze is a keef caked multicolored wonder. Oh, sorry about that. As the name states, this strain has really lemony characteristics. The smell is zesty, citrusy, and a little sweet. As for the taste, it's everything one would expect from the namesake. Tart and sweet, like Lemonhead's candy. Not quite as sharp as one might expect. The effects are uniquely energetic and lively. May not be the best strain for those of us who are naturally wound up tight. So, on the back of this it says it's good for chronic depression. ADD, ADHD, PTSD, and patients dealing with minor pains, nausea, and appetite loss. So, let's scroll down a bit further. So, like most sativas, it says, happy, energetic, uplifted, euphoric, creative. That's in the order of the bar being filled to going down. I'm always going to read it from top to bottom if you decide to look it up yourself. The medical aspect of it is it's really good for stress, stress, depression, fatigue, pain, headaches. Now the negatives, I'm going to say dry mouth. And, <laughs> yep, dry mouth is number one, then dry eyes, then paranoid, anxious, dizzy. Paranoid and anxious are about the same on the scale and dizzy is a little bit less. But dry mouth is across the board. Um, I think I'm starting to notice that a lot of the sativas have more of the dry mouth, where I think like some of the indicas and hybrids tend to have more of the dry eyes stuff. But that's with that being said, so let's uh, open up this bad boy and see what we get. So just like one of the other ones that I did. Um, let's see, what can I use as a background? There we go. You know, 
it's a it's still golden, but it's a darker golden versus uh, a few of the other ones that I've had in the plats and the MKXs. See, it's got to be a decently thick because that's fuck like a snail's pace. It's not moving. Now I notice with this cart, so everything else is the same. It's got the label, but unlike my other MKX ones, it doesn't say MKX anywhere on the side of the cart. So, you know, now that's where it would worry me because it, everything I've gotten lately seems to be branded. It's got the black letters. I don't think I have another one here to even show you. I've sold them all. You know, not because I don't like them, just keep funding the channel. Pick them up, sell them, go get more. Pick them up, sell them, get some more. Or give them away to my brother. Or however you want to word that shit. <laughs> or friends, or what, whatever the fuck. Just, they're not in my possession anymore, let's put it that way. Yeah, you definitely get the citrusy, lemony uh, in the dry hit. Well, my battery's starting to get scraped up the paint. So once again, I'll be hitting this out of my palm. I'm going to pick up another battery soon and do a review on that just so I can have something else to review. Um, it's not that I don't like this battery. I think it works fucking amazing. Um, I'm swearing more at most of my videos now because I'm not monetized. I'm not doing anything related to that at the moment. Um, I'm going to be eventually. Well, I'm pretty sure you gotta have a certain amount of subscribers before all that shit, so. We just hit 61 subs. Uh, sorry, whoever number 61 was. I can't remember your name off the top of my head. I just saw it like 10 minutes ago. Uh, thank you for subbing. Welcome to the channel. Uh, all the day ones, welcome back. All the new ones, welcome. Um, anybody that's just watching the watch, hey, comment, do whatever. But here we go. Yeah, that is all, all lemon. Like if I wanted to think of like a household uh, item that would be, <coughs> obviously you're not going to drink it. Wow, that lemon it hits the back of the throat. <coughs> Damn. It would be like pine salve. Like the smell of it. So the smell that you get from pine salve is almost like what the taste would be in this. So when you walk into a house and someone just did their hardwood floors and you get that lemony. And it kind of hits you like in your nasal cavity in the back of the throat. And you're like, um, that's kind of like what this is. Yeah, that's not bad. The, the aftertaste is a little overpowering. As I said, it's sitting real, real heavy, like right through here. <laughs> like it's almost like coating the back of my throat. But I can feel the high coming on. Um, so far, so good, but... <coughs> breathing out of my nose is making it run a little bit. Yeah, I would say they have another hit here. Um, out of all the ones I've tried so far, I say Ghost Train Haze, or Ghost Train Haze, Crazy Train that I just did a review on in a previous video is really good. Um, out of all the flavors, I would say I don't remember exactly how many videos I, I've done of the MKX, so say I've done six of these, um, six or seven, I'm going to say this is in my top three, flavor-wise. Um, I prefer Sativas over Indicas anyway. Um, it's not that I don't like Indicas, I just prefer the head high versus the super fuck. I just lost six hours of my day. 
but that's not saying I don't smoke them. I've got Skywalker OG and one of my other pens. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll smoke whatever. I'm not picky. I just, I prefer the sweet flavors over the earthy. I prefer sativa over indica. Um, not saying that I don't enjoy a nice indica, like while I'm relaxing, trying to watch a movie or something. But sometimes it's so good that you don't even make it like 45 minutes into the movie. All of a sudden you're so relaxed on that couch that so you're just out. Before you know it, tomorrow or later on that night, you're going back to where you were at in the movie. If you were watching it with somebody, they're, they've been done. They're like, ah, I don't want to watch that again. So half the time I don't even finish some of the things. Like if it's a TV series, sometimes I wake up and there's seven episodes ahead. It's like, fuck. That's pretty much my girlfriend. She she will binge watch the fuck out of a show. Um, and I'll start it with her and she'll be done with the fucking three seasons. And I'm still like episode six, season one. It's like, uh, what the hell? And then she always tells me she'll watch it over again. But it's like, really? I'm straight. But yeah, Super Lemon Haze. As I said, Riverside 313. Sorry that it's not in the plat. But as soon as the guy said he had Super Lemon Haze, I had to get it, do a review. Uh, as I said, it's a, it's a good taste. The aftertaste has a little bit of bite, and it feels like it sits real heavy in the back of your throat, almost, almost harsh. Dry mouth, absolutely. fucking lovely. Dry eyes, ah, uh, I feel it a little bit in the sides, not so much, say, in the forehead as the other video I did. Um, you can go back and watch that. So, I, I don't even want to say the company's name in this video just because I'm doing an MKX review. If you go to one of my last two videos, um, it's right there. Watch it, like it, sub, whatever you guys want to do. Um, I want this channel to be as carefree as possible. I want to deliver great content, engage your ears. Um, as I said, I'm from Michigan. Um, moved over here summer 89. Um, been here ever since. Always lived in Michigan. Um, you know, I'll be even more specific. When we first moved over here, it was Troy, Michigan. My family's still there. Um, I moved in, or well, me and my girlfriend got a place. And we moved out to, you know, the 24 and Gratiot area. And even though, like, I hate some of Michigan, I love it. It's, at the end of the day, as soon as I leave somewhere else, I love coming back. You know, everyone gets sick with the daily grind, no matter where the fuck you're at in this world. Um, you know, a break is a break. So sometimes, say, when I used to move furniture out of state, you know, uh, take off and I'll end up in like Wilmington, North Carolina or down in Florida or something. And it's awesome. It's like, this is awesome. But then you get home and it just feels brand new again. It's almost like a weight has been lifted. You know, you're, you're back to being you. That's just kind of how I feel, I guess. I'm sure some other people feel that way. But... Yeah, I really like the high that uh, it says effects expected in 15 minutes. Way sooner than 15 minutes. You guys are crazy. Like, unless this was some, like, crazy super creeper, which I don't know if you can truly get that in the oil. Like, the true creeper effect, like, when smoking on some bud. You know, I smoke on a dube. You get that creeper effect. You're halfway done with the dube, and you're like, uh, what? And then all of a sudden, you're like, oh, shit fucking baked um but yeah mkx midnight express super lemon haze two 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 thumbs up for sure i like it as i said the only thing that would be the negative for me is the strong harshness in the back of the throat so i'm gonna hit it again and i'm gonna see if i get the same thing could just be a combination of just waking up not brushing my teeth right away because I just rolled out of bed and did this. I'm, I think I'm still in the same shirt I was in last night. Like, 
That's how I fell asleep last night. <laughs> That's just me being overly honest with you guys. No, I still got that bite. Still good tasting. Really good tasting. It's just that bite at the end. It, it's like taking a shot of whiskey and pound it back and then all of a sudden that little dry bit hits you right here. Ooh. <clears throat> I should have brought a beverage with me, damn. So I'm gonna end this video now. It's a 16 minute video. If any of you watch to the end of this, hey, thank you. Um, so as I said, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, comment below, that's chit chat. Uh, can't think of the name at the moment but the other dude uh his his tip was for me to focus mainly on michigan products michigan grown michigan based michigan this and just being the detroit guy slash michigan guy you know for, for this kind of stuff so i am definitely gonna look into that i want to try as much products as i can but i will definitely uh for, for the most part, for the majority of this, it's going to be all Michigan products. So if you got Michigan blown glass uh, companies, like things like that, uh, you know, I'll look into trying to buy some stuff from these people so that I can uh, do some review on their pipes, bongs, glassworks, like you know, in general. So I wanted to thank him for his input. Um, you know, between. I think there's like four or five of you that comment on a regular basis for the most part. Um, you guys are awesome. I enjoy chit-chatting with you guys. I know the conversations aren't very long and things like that. But you know, everyone's got something going on in their day. So if, if I don't respond right away or get to it, it's just because I'm either out working or hanging with my family. But now I'm at like a 17 minute video. Peace out guys. Enjoy the rest of your weekends.